Maloilele. My name is Joseph and I'm here with Mafi from the Heart Foundation. Today we're here to show you a healthier way of cooking some of the foods, some of the dishes that you may already be cooking at home. So what we've chosen today is a traditional Tongan dish called Lu Sipi. You might know it in the Samoan Islands as Luau. What we like to do in, in Tonga is add a bit of meat to it, okay? So what we've got for our ingredients is taro leaves, which we call lu. We've got a bit of tomatoes, also got some chopped onions, and also we got some coconut cream, which we always love in the islands. Bit of seasoning here with some salt and pepper, which you may not need, but we'll have it there for a bit of taste. Okay, Muffy, where should we start? Well, we've got here one and a half kilos of uh, mutton flaps or uh, sippi, and we've trimmed the fat off. So we can see here a third of um, the mutton flaps are fat. This is um, not good for the heart, eh, Joseph? Okay, so is this what it, we, we bought it originally like this, and we've stripped this part, and we've ended up with this. Is that correct? That's right. Okay, why might we be doing that? Uh, we're doing that for people who've had a heart attack or prevent yourself from, from having a heart attack or heart disease. This is full of the, the bad fat, so it clogs up the heart arteries. So we want to get rid of those okay. and only use the lean meat, um, which we um, you know, can eat for protein and for bodybuilding and body repair. All right, so that forth. sounds good to me. All right, should we... Uh Chuck this into our frying pan. What we've done here is we've heated our frying pan already. You will notice we're not using any oil. We've got enough fat drooping off this meat. So what I'll do is then I'll add just a little bit. We'll see if we can start browning them. Just keep a quick eye on it. Make sure nothing starts burning. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to this side. And I'm going to chop up some of these onions. The great thing about onions is that it adds flavor. Okay. So we want to have a lot of flavor in our loo. I see you've added a little bit of color with these uh, tomatoes here. Yes, tomatoes good for the heart. Um, we've got red tomatoes and you've pre-chopped uh, one medium tomatoes there. And we're using two for this recipe, aren't we, Joseph? That's correct. Could we use possibly some other sort of vegetables if we didn't have tomatoes or if we didn't like tomatoes, to say. It will be up to the family, but you can add a, uh, other vegetables. You can add um, mixed veggies into it. But traditionally, in Tonga, you can either use the onions that we are using here or um, tomatoes, because those are plentiful in, in Tonga, oh. and they grow well in the Tongan soil. And how many leaves have you got there of the taro leaves? We've got, we've got two bunches that we bought. So we're using about one of it, eh? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, I guess it might depend on how many people in the family, or how many people you're trying to feed. So if you want to spread it out and maybe make more than one set of loo, you, make, you might try one with lamb flaps and you might try one with corned beef or maybe even chicken or fish. Yeah. Corned beef, that sounds great. But we'll have to drain the fat off. How, how might we be doing that, Muffy? Um, you could do it by... Um, uh, taking out it out of the can and heat it in the microwave and then you can drain the fat off or some people actually open up the can on the side and then put it in hot water to melt the fat. Now for the hard part which is not really that hard really. What we're going to do is we're going to layer this with some foil just to wrap up these nice beautiful leaves that we got here so if I could just grab that off you thank you very much. Tin foil essential to every island household. A lot of our cooking is done in this. Mm. This helps to keep in that flavour. So traditionally, uh, Joseph, would uh, people in the past have used foil? No. Actually, in the islands, we use banana leaves. We call it lofusi, I believe. So we, we use those banana leaves and also gives that nice smell once it comes out of our, uh, our earth oven or our umu. Okay. What I'm going to do, Muffy, is I'm just going to get you to demonstrate how we might put these leaves on quite nicely so that none of our beautiful juices start leaking out of our loo. So you put the big leaves at the bottom? As you've noticed, we've also given a nice clean wash, just a bit of water, get off, get off that dust and extra flavour that we might be getting. 
And people can grow these in their backyards in Auckland, couldn't, couldn't they? Exactly. My auntie's actually got a taro garden in her backyard. Okay, we're just going to check on this lamb flaps right here. Smelling great. Even if they're not cooked, we're going to be putting this in the oven so it'll finish the job off for us. So I'm just going to dish this out. As you can see, we didn't need any oil. All the fat stripped off from the, the lamb. So it hasn't stuck to the bottom. Using a non-stick pan might help as well. Okay, here we go. It's done looking good. Oops, dropped a bit there. Okay, Muffy, could I ask you please to hold that lamb flaps up? Yeah, like that. To hold those. Okay, so just cradle it like a nice little baby that you got. Okay. What we've got here also, if you bear with me, Muffy, we've got two cups of coconut cream already in here. This is our measuring cup, one cup. Our recipe states three. So what I'm going to do is just going to top this off and add this in. Okay, so that's three cups of coconut cream, full coconut cream. What we're going to do is going to add a bit of water to dilute it. So just one cup. Why might we want to dilute this, Muffy? Uh, so that we don't have as much fat. So we've got the volume, we've got the amount, but we've got less fat. Because like the mutton flaps, it's full of the lousy or the bad fat, which clogs the arteries of the heart. But coconut cream, it's from coconuts. I know. It's unfortunate that it's, it's from plant, uh, but coconut cream and palm oil are those that are high in, in the lousy or the bad fat, or in scientific terms, saturated fat. Okay, you might notice that I haven't put all that coconut cream in there. We might use this for maybe two or three loos. Is, are there any other plants that have saturated fat in them, Muffy? Yes, we've got the palm, so only coconut and palm. So fat from palm and coconut are the same as as the fat that we've got from animal products like mutton flaps, the chicken, the skin on the chicken, um, anything from animals is similar to that of palm and coconut. But there are lighter versions, there are reduced fat versions okay. of coconut cream that you can buy. Oh right, just to make sure that we have all that nice juice tucked away, make sure you close it nice and tight. Now, Muffy, is there fat in other kinds of vegetables? Can we find fat in other kinds of vegetables? And are they good for you, or are they bad as well? Um, vegetables like the taro leaves here yep. is, doesn't have any fat in them, so they're great to actually have because it, it can fill you up, but it doesn't have the, the fat that gets you to put on weight or the, okay. or the bad or lousy fat. I hear things like avocado got quite a bit of fat in them as well, and nuts. Uh, nuts doesn't come under fruit. It's similar to coconut, but it's got the the good uh, fat or the happy fat happy in there. Happy fat. Okay, awesome. All right, are we good to go here? Great. So that's our law sippy. Awesome. So just to recap, what we did is we had our mutton flaps, remove the fat from it, good for our heart. Add a bit of colour with our vegetables, a bit of onion and tomatoes and of course our lure on the outside. We had some coconut cream, but just to make sure that it's not that bad for us, as Muffy said, palm and coconut actually have saturated fat. The only two plants that have saturated fat in them. So what we did is dilute it with a little bit of water and add it in because we need that coconut cream for our lure. So we're just going to put this in the oven. We've got it here at about 170, 180 degrees. Let it cook for about an hour. Obviously in the islands, we'd have our underground oven. So that's our healthy loo. I know some of you might be cringing at throwing away all that fat, might thinking that's a bit of a waste, but if you want your heart to be healthy, that's what you need to do. You might be saying that we're throwing away about three or four dollars of mutton flaps here, but think about it. It's saving you a couple of visits to the doctor. It's saving about $20 to $50 
per doctor's visit. So not only will, your, will our Pacific families be healthier, but they'll be wealthier. Happy eating, everyone. Mumia.